Yeah, we're going to see an Osama bin Laden kind of twist in the story of uh, Dawood Ibrahim, it seems, because uh, just a few seconds back on our news agency ticker, uh, the news has come that uh, Pakistan has admitted that it was harboring Dawood Ibrahim. And this is a sensational breaking news story this evening. Uh, and I'm glad, right, to discuss this breaking news story and also the question of Hafiz Saeed uh, ranting uh, continuously, non-stop, with the tacit understanding and approval of the Pakistan government uh, Air Vice Marshal Abid Rao, defense analyst from Karachi. Uh, Ahmad Raza Kasuri, senior advocate of the Supreme Court of Pakistan. Sushan Sareen is a consultant of the Pakistan project to the IDSA in Delhi. And Ajit Doval, former director, Intelligence Bureau. <clears throat> and I'd like to share the breaking news story first with, with everyone and also with all our viewers. And I'm reading from the PTI quote for the first time. Pakistan is admitted to the presence of one of India's most wanted terrorists, Dawood Ibrahim but has said he has now been chased out and could be in the UAE. Uh, Shariar Khan, Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif's special envoy for improving relations with India said, and I quote, Dawood Ibrahim was in Pakistan, but I believe he was chased out of Pakistan. If he is in Pakistan, he should be hounded and arrested. We cannot allow such gangsters to operate from the country. So, how does it feel, Vice Marshal Abid Rao, <clears throat> that your country, after having denied and lied its way through the story of Dawood Ibrahim, your country is now officially admitting, has officially admitted that you were giving shelter to Dawood Ibrahim. Okay, uh, thank you very much for uh, sharing an intelligence information for which I personally have no clue whether my government has admitted or not. It is a quote. It is uh, not information. Shariar Khan has said it. Okay. Okay. It may have been there. I'm, <clears throat> I'm not sure. I'm not privy to that. And I cannot comment on something that, you know, I'm not sure of, number one. Number two, uh, I really don't understand what India wants. If you want to behave like a superpower, first become one. Don't treat Pakistan like one of your, those states. Uh, you should remember one thing, that you keep putting these allegations without any proof. But your the government Mom has admitted, uh, your government has admitted that the, you had Dawood uh, Ibrahim. Please, I have all the quotes. Please, you know your government let, denied all this while, me, and now you have admitted. Let, we have no right to uh, ask you this. Shariar Khan has said that Dawood no, no, Ibrahim no, was in Pakistan. You, you, that that, your, that your means you were lying on this prime minister. That will be... No, no. We, I, I mean, uh, you should, your prime minister should ask my prime minister. Maybe he can clarify to There's him. There's nothing left to clarify. The there is nothing were, left were to clarify. You have admitted. No, 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 no. They, 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 I mean, I cannot believe Indian media at all. This is not Indian media. Stories, this is Sharia Khan. Believe. This is your prime minister's I'm special envoy. Indian media. I'm, I'm, I am talking to Indian media. Therefore. This uh, news is Mumbai going to spread like wildfire through the entire global Indians media in a few minutes, sir. Pakistan I'm only breaking the story here. For that. Attack on your uh, parliament is engineered by Indians and they, the Pakistan is held responsible. LOC issues. Today, oh, your, uh, you, your hooligans have stopped Pakistani, uh, this uh, Dosti bus in Amritsar. For one hour, the passengers, Indians, <coughs> Pakistanis and foreigners were harassed. Sir, I'm your asking you about a very Pakistani serious issue about your admission on Dawood Ibrahim. The, <coughs> no, it's no, a very no. serious I, I, international I issue no, now. Nobody to admit whether so it's an international here. issue. No, no, no. Pakistan has admitted that it was harboring Dawood Ibrahim. No, it's a very serious I, I, issue. I, it is I, almost I, as serious I, as I harboring told, Osama bin Laden for so many why years. Why do you and want my comments on something that I do not share <coughs> with Mr. Shahri Khan? He I, may I, have been here. We have a lot of our Dawood Ibrahim sitting in Mumbai, in Delhi, and in so many places of India. You people continue to uh, interfere in Balochistan, your consulates in Afghanistan. Well, I, <coughs> these are very serious issues. Only the prime ministers, is, uh, the foreign ministers can I, talk about okay, it. Now, and they can tell you more accurate information. <coughs> well, you know... Uh, and uh, you want me to admit something for which I am not... Uh, sir, uh, you I don't know, want uh, you to admit, but I'd like to inform you that your government has admitted. Fine. And it's a very big admission. My government... It's my, a very big admission. So let your Prime Minister ask Mr. Nawaz Sharif. Let your Foreign Minister ask my Foreign Minister. Well, you know, I don't uh, know about the Prime Minister, but I'm sure they other. will. <coughs> and, uh, okay. Ajit let, Doval let, is responding. Let me believe that what you are... Okay, let me believe what you're saying is correct. Then you should thank Pakistan that uh, a person that you did not like has been, you know, expelled out of Pakistan. He is not here. So now sir, uh, that <coughs> negative point against Pakistan that sir, you this, hold uh, should now become positive. <coughs> sir... I just want to tell you this, that this man, Dawood Ibrahim, masterminded the 93 yes. Mumbai riots. 
257 yes. Indians died. 700 others were wounded. Yes. And your country's Prime yes. Minister, Special Envoy, has admitted that he was in Pakistan. And I think that is a very big news development. I'd like the reaction from Ajit Doval. And I know their government may try to retract, but it's like, I think what's been said is said. It's a huge development, isn't it, Ajit Doval? Well, I, I, I am agreeing with you that if well, you're, you're saying tried. if it is correct, yes. then you should thank Pakistan that, you know, one of the most wanted criminals My in God. India My God. has been expelled out of Pakistan. And what was he doing yes. in Pakistan all this while? He was your state guest? He was doing business. Well, I said I have he ran no a travel agency. On his being here or being expelled. Well, you, so it's just like how you I ever said, sold the people. You told the whole world that Osama bin Laden was not in Pakistan. You got caught red-handed, and you got caught red-handed on Dawood Ibrahim. In also, now how, is, how does it not affect the image of your country? We do not owe an. Uh, we do not owe an explanation to India. I think you owe an explanation to the world, sir. Our people. You owe an explanation no, no, to the no, world. No, no, not world. You are. Please, you uh, please don't uh, ask us to explain something for which we are not responsible. Okay, I'll, to I'll, you. I'll, I'll, let's move let's on, sir. Let's, let's, let's get, let's get Ajit Doval, former director of India's what intelligence you have done to bureau. This today. I'll, I'll come back to you, uh, you sir. You should remember one thing. Okay. okay. Let's get Ajit Doval in, sir. Let's get the Indian perspective on the Dawood Ibrahim admission from Pakistan. Well, I think my friend from Pakistan will not deny that Pakistan is a signatory to UN Resolution 1373, which proscribes giving shelter to any terrorist. Number one. Number two, they will not deny that Daoud Ibrahim's name figures as serial number five in the internationally wanted terrorists. They will not deny that he has also been put in the terrorist list by not only the UN, but most of the other countries. From 2005, when he was declared as an international terrorist, till 2013, he stayed there. Is Pakistan state not accountable for violation of the UN resolution to which it is a signatory for giving shelter to an internationally wanted and uh, uh, giving shelter to a person and a refugee to a person about whose whereabouts they knew? Forget about the Indian media. Is it not true that the Karachis Herald uh, magazine, Mr. Rana brought about the total profile of his house, his photograph, his bungalow, with his standing over there in, the, in Clifton in, in Karachi. And he was hounded out, out of Pakistan and then he had to take shelter somewhere outside the, outside the country. There had been series of reports about his, uh, his um, uh, business uh, interests in Appara, in Islamabad, in his having taken over some of the, uh, why, why the <coughs> shopping complexes in sector 17 of Islamabad. Now, the point is all this overwhelming evidence is not only with India, it is available to the entire world. And the entire world knows that you had been giving shelter and refuge to the internationally wanted terrorists. Osama bin Laden was <coughs> one, Daoud is another, and even Hafiz says figures are serial number two of the internationally wanted terrorists who was giving in Gaddafi Stadium addressing the crowd and was with impunity he was able to not and, only and along with that I also have I also have I also have you see maybe there I are three, like three things happening hand. tonight just a see. small sentence yes Mr. Dawal yes go ahead go ahead go ahead and I want to go to it's Mr. Just one small thing. that is not only not only that he delivered that venomous speech but the media advisor to the prime minister said that he may be a terrorist for you he is not a terrorist for us you see, now, that's three, all what I have to say. You see, you, if in you the see, light of these things, you, you think you are still justified, please you go see, ahead. You there see, are, there are three things happening here. At first, you know, I want to pin this down on Dawood because it's a breaking news story. But three things have happened. Now, One uh, is Hafiz uh, Saeed has said... Uh, I, what I want to say, that this is a very serious matter not to be discussed on media between you and me. Why not? If this is true, if this is true... It is true. Let your Prime Minister discuss with my Prime Minister. Let your Foreign Office oh, discuss sir, with I don't, my Foreign Office. Sir, sir your... They are in a better, sir, I, I, I believe... I believe... Uh, uh, I believe exchange, uh, independent uh, yes. media, which exists in India, has every right to... And I don't think we need to take the permission of the government of Pakistan or the government of you India to discuss, to discuss this very rights, important development. In fact, I, I think, on I think the information. I think the, we don't have accurate information, neither you nor I. Well, I, I do mean, have I, accurate information discuss, and it's uh, breaking on the channel right now that Dawood Ibrahim was in Pakistan and your Shariar Khan says, I believe he was chased out of Pakistan and I'm only asking you. Ahmad Raza Kasuri that Pakistan no, no, always I, said, I, I, Pakistan I, always said, said Pakistan said, always said, uh, always said we don't know about Dawood Ibrahim. 
This is a very big development, so, sir. I, I told you my inability. That no, I understand I don't your know inability, subject, but I will not give you a comment. No, I understand okay. your inability, but if this is true, then Ahmad Raza Kasuri will agree with me. This, therefore, would underline, reiterate, and make official the position of Pakistan as a terrorist state. Because in 2003, the U.S. Treasury Department announced yeah. that Dawood Ibrahim has been put in the specially designated global terrorist. His assets in the U.S. were frozen. Now, if you have been protecting or giving shelter to this man, after having done the same thing with Osama, then Ahmad Raza Kasuri, what face does Pakistan have left before the entire global community? The misfortune is that uh, you don't miss any opportunity of Pakistan bashing if you get one. And if you expect that with this kind of an attitude and threatening posture of uh, your media that you will bring uh, uh, a balance in the relationship of India and Pakistan, well, then you are sadly mistaken. Where did See, I threaten? How would you describe how Colonel Proz? How is putting Proz? the facts out how of threat? How, how, just a minute. How will you describe Colonel Proz, who killed innocent people? I'm asking about Dawood Ibrahim, by the way. Uh, see, ba, you know, ba, ba, you know, ba, Bal Thakre. You know, Bal Thakre was a the politician. Order. Please and understand, Mr. I tell Mr. you, the government of Pakistan Please. was having a very weak policy vis-a-vis -vis you. If a man, man like me were to dealing with you, I would have demanded the physical... Uh, see, custody of Colonel Proth and Bal Thakre. Well, now, who have you been see, now that you have finished see, your... No, with, I, I'll tell see, you what. I'll tell, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. You see, but there is this Muslims man called India. Hafiz Saeed. No, just there is this man called just Hafiz Saeed who has your said the following. Sir, your own please answer the question, sir. You Hafiz, know you can get all aggressive Hafiz with me, Saeed, but you know, I will not respond Hafiz to you. I will only keep a, asking Hafiz you questions. Hafiz Saeed is a philanthropist. 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 He's a philanthropist. Okay, running okay. in Blochistan. Okay. May I ask? See, philanthropist. Lot of philanthropic okay. philanthropist. projects. Philanthropist. He, he is providing. He is a philanthropist. You say, sir. He is an May I ask you? He is running uh, in Murizke, <laughs> one of the most uh, organized. <laughs> Sushant Sareen is laughing. Sir, see, what is this, sir? I, I, one minute, sec, Sushant Sareen, I want you to respond. Now, Before that, I want to ask you, Mr. Is, Kasuri, one thing. Question is. Mr. Kasuri, one thing. Is, Take one question. Take one question. Take Just one question, take one question, and I'm not going to threaten you, Mr. Kasuri. I think Kasuri. you I'm love your voice. One See, take one question. If you Mr. love your voice, then you continue. If you want to hear our point of view, then please be patient. No, Mr. 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 Kasuri, I love everyone's voice, including yours, including Sushant Sarin, but I want to ask some one question to you, sir. You are saying tonight to please, me, if you, with if you all want seriousness. my point of view, please listen. Sir, please let me ask I'm you a question. That ek sawal your own sir, aapko. officer, your own intelligence officer to karne said that on the Ek sawal wo jail mein hai, jiske baare mein aap baat kar rahe hain. No, no, jiske baare mein aap baat kar rahe hain, wo jail mein hai, unpe mukadma chal raha hai. No, no, ek minute, ek minute, ek minute, one second. Please, you know, first of all, you know, Mr. Kasuri, you know heart of heart. You know the strength and solidity of India's democratic institutions. And you know the weakness of your own institutions. Mr. Purohit is in jail. There is a legal case going on. And this man, Hafiz Saeed, is ranting on the streets in the stadiums of Pakistan, telling people that we must launch a jihad in all parts of India. Right? And you say he's a philanthropist, Mr. Kasuri. Let me remind you, and I challenge you tonight to tell me, if he is a philanthropist, then why did your government seal 109 of this philanthropist's offices? Why were 52 of this philanthropist's leaders detained? Why were the names of 11 members of this philanthropist's organization placed on the exit control list? And why were 250 members of this philanthropist's organization called the Jamaatud Dawa, which is actually the lashkar e Toiba, detained for questioning? Tell me. December 2008, Mr. Kasuri, this is what happened to that philanthropist. Why did you do that? Do you, were you scared? He, did you get scared when the world put the pressure on you? He 